Okay, here's a scenario. You've got an AR-15 and you're wanting to give it low light and no light capability, but you're not too keen on getting a flashlight set up for it, and you really don't want to get a red dot or something like an ACOG just because of how much money it costs to get one of those. Here's an option for you guys. It's pretty inexpensive. You're looking anywhere from $80 to $110, give or take, depending on where you're at and who you're ordering it from. And that option is the Trigicon Night Sights for the AR-15. You can see the setup right there. It has the yellow rear dots and the green front dot. And there's the item number right there. Charlie Papa 25 Yankee. These are excellent sights and it gives you that low light, no light capability on your AR-15 without having to add anything to it or without having to spend a whole bunch of money for either a real good quality flashlight uh, mounted flashlight setup or something like a Aimpoint, uh, ACOG, all that uh, fun stuff. But I'll show you real quick on the AR. This is my wife's AR. I don't know if you can see, there's the front sight, and then you can see on the rear sight, there's the two dots. Now, this sight still has the flip-up long-range aperture as normal. You can still have your long-range settings and still use your A2 windage, however you had it set up, whether it's an approved Battle Sight Zero or a standard Battle Sight Zero. And for nighttime use, close quarters use, you can flip it and now you've got the three dot night sight capability. These sights are very bright. It's Trigicon, of course, so it's good quality stuff. I really like Trigicon. They really know what they're doing as far as optics goes and uh, sight setups, especially the low light stuff. I highly recommend this. Again, $80 to $110 and it's for those guys. It installs just like regular factory sights. And... Uh, the front sight, for you guys that might be wondering, on the front sight here, there's a provision where when you turn this, there's four slots to adjust your elevation. So if you happen to adjust your elevation and your sight is sitting sideways, you can go ahead and push down a little bit and that top moves separately from the rest of the base so you can reposition your sight so your blade, your uh, night vision blade is always facing back. So that's kind of a neat little feature. And, uh, you know, some people don't realize that when they look at this slot, this uh, type of uh, front sight, and they see how those slots are set up, they think, oh man, I can only adjust it so many ways in order to keep that rear night sight, that rear dot facing me, so that way I can see it. That's not true. You can adjust it independently of the post and always have it facing towards you. So, all right, there it is. Really neat little setup. Check them out. A lot of people don't think of night sights on AR 15s, but. They're a very nice little item to have, especially if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money on optics, flashlights, and all the other gadgetry. Because the best thing about having these, as you can see, my AR-15 now has no light, low light capability with zero added bulk. No added weight, no added bulk, no need for batteries, none of that. So all right, with that said, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, feel free to leave comments, video responses. Stay safe, stay free, stay armed.